Hey guys, it's Sean with the Brothers Workshop, and today I'm here with my 2017 GMC Sierra. Nothing major to report because this truck is epic. This truck is awesome. It is so much better, leaps and bounds better than Patches, my 2014 Chevy Silverado that I had to trade in due to a major water issue. It just started taking water in and we couldn't figure it out. One day I came back to my truck after a heavy rainstorm and the floorboards were covered. I'm talking like two inches of water. Part of the reason why you haven't seen a lot of videos from us is because this truck is doing great. We're at 49,000 miles, it just rolled over and I bought it with 33. It's got the tow mirrors. It's an epic truck, guys. Awesome truck. However, there's one issue, and that comes with the driver's seat. The driver's seat likes to slide back and forth. Now, this occurs in all of the model years between 2014 and the 2019 and a half, so pretty much 18 up and through to that uh, 2019 and a half. But there is a fix, and I did a video about that fix, and it's linked down here in the description below. Go ahead, check it out. It fixes 99.9999999% of trucks, but for some reason, didn't fix this one. So I did a deep dive on the forums, and I found another fix. And all it required was going up to the local hardware store. So I did that, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. But before I do, if you guys get value out of this, if you learn something, hit that like button for me. That way I know to keep bringing this stuff to you. And if you have a friend who this might benefit, share this with them. You can find all of this stuff to get this job done down in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. All right, guys. Again, we're going to just jump right into this. To get to the issue here, just open the door. Head on down here. We're going to have to get up under here again. And be moving the seat backwards. and as far up as I possibly can. All right. Now that the seat is as far up as possible and all the way back, I could get in there and manipulate everything. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch to the GoPro because it's too hard to get this camera in there and I'll show you how it's done. If you guys have one, a moving pad is great for this because you're going to need to kneel down, and this will take away any of that discomfort from long periods of kneeling. Really all I need is my 5 16th socket, two clamps, go get these at the hardware store. I think they were less than a dollar each and a piece of rubber. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this rubber around the bar. That's going to keep this clamp from sliding around. So the rubber is basically just acting like a grip so that when we go to cinch this clamp down, it won't go anywhere at all. Again, guys, I just got this from an inner tube. You can cut up a bike tire, get that inner tube out, and do the same thing. Super easy. If you have other things laying around the house, it'll work fine. It's just what I had available. But we're going to switch to GoPro so you can actually see what's going on. Wrapping both the clamp and the rubber around the bar at the same time can be pretty difficult. So take your time. Don't get frustrated. You can do it. It just takes a second and a little bit of finagling. So right there you guys could see exactly how it was wrapped around and now all you have to do is tighten it down. Push it as close as you can to that white plastic piece. Once you have it snug up against that white plastic piece, you could go ahead and tighten it all the way down. Once we're done there, we're going to move to the right side and all we're going to do here is repeat the exact same step. Making sure that we have both the clamp and the rubber pushed up as tightly against that white plastic piece as possible. That's going to prevent the seat from sliding from left to right, eliminating the issue altogether. All right, guys, with a can-do attitude, you can do anything, right? Uh, it's a little cheesy, but seriously, got that can-do attitude, a little elbow grease, and we got this job done. It's not a it's not hard, guys. It just takes a little bit of time. And don't forget, you can find all of this stuff to get this job done down in the description below. And guys, if this helped you out at all, if you got value out of this video, hit that like button for me. That way you know to keep bringing this stuff to you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. 
If you guys want, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Brothers Workshop. That way you can keep up to date with us outside of YouTube here. There I'm posting all the stuff that's going on with the C20. A little bit of skateboarding, a lot of skateboarding actually. And Dave's always going in on architecture and construction. You guys are going to want to hang out with us over there because you're not going to want to miss out on all the adventures we're up to. So go ahead, follow us. Go right, right now, at The Brothers Workshop.